Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 10th, and it is a chilly, rainy day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, just a mess. I, we still have all that snow that you might have seen on, on uh, my Friday video, and the, it's just slushing up now, and yeah, it, it's, it's not a pleasant day at all. But spring is coming, I'm sure of it. Uh, Speaking of spring, it's uh, today's the first day of daylight savings time, or the last day of daylight savings time. I never can quite keep that straight. Uh, the bottom line is, I didn't know, and <laughs> I woke up this morning and thought I had overslept, and I was very confused. Uh, lost an hour, which is unfortunate. I don't mind losing an hour of sleep. I don't like losing an hour of wake time, so I'm kind of unhappy about that, but nevertheless. All is, all is still good. So today I'm I'm smoking my Bing's favorite, and uh, I'm smoking a tobacco that has gone out. What I am smoking is um, is walnut. Uh, walnut is an old Middleton product product that's no longer made, and uh, it was a kind gift from my friend. Uh, Rick, who goes by Couch on YouTube, and uh, Couch is actually looking into cameras, so hopefully we'll be seeing videos from him in the not too distant future. But uh, yeah, walnut. It's funny. I've had a fair amount of walnut over the years. I've ne I never had it when it was being produced. So everything that I've gotten is you know after they shut down production, and it's usually been relatively small samples, you know, an ounce or two here and there. Uh, this is the first time that I, I think that he got this as a tub and, and opened the tub up, and this is relatively fresh. And it's the first time I've had it like this. I'm, I'm surprised at how much topping it has. It, I never really thought of it as a, as a topped uh, tobacco because everything that I had gotten had been somewhat dried out. But this is, this is very interesting, quite unique. And I'm also enjoying some coffee that uh, Rick sent along. So, thank you again, my friend. It's a really interesting flavor, and I know I shouldn't go on about it too much because you're not going to be able to get this tobacco. Um, but it's 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 got some of that. Uh, sugar barrel caramel sweetness going on there, but there's also like this liqueur sort of overnote to that. It's just, it's, it's really quite nice. It's like a buttery, scotchy kind of flavor. <laughs> butterscotch, maybe. No, no, it's not butterscotch, but it's, uh, it, it's hard to explain. But it's very unique and not something that I've, I've run into in any other aromatic, uh, for lack of a better term. I don't really consider these uh, topped cotter blends to be aromatics, just because they're not they're not typically heavily topped like uh, something like um, Middleton cherry, for example, would be. So it's been a very busy week. Um, had a couple down days. Actually, wasn't wasn't feeling quite well. I thought I was getting a uh, a stomach bug, but it passed. And if, if it was a stomach bug, it was a very merciful one. So that was good. Uh, and I've just been very very busy. I I missed the uh, New York Pipe Show yesterday. I would have loved to have gone, but I just had had too much to do and just couldn't justify taking the the time off to do it. So. Uh, There'll be another one next year, I hope, and I hope any of you guys that went uh, had a great time. I've been doing a lot of stem work. Um, <laughs> I showed you the beginnings of this stem last week. This was the stem for a custom built. Uh, and I was finishing this up on Friday. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch this or not. But yeah, there you go. You can see the light coming through there. Um, the way I 
I was pretty mad when this happened and I took a picture of it and put it up on Instagram and I I said I've invented the P-lip. Uh, yeah, so there's a hole that's that I filed through the top and I know why it happened and it was it was uh, my own dumb fault. Um, so anyway, this was uh, quite a bit of work that is going in the trash can now. And I was able to make a new stem and actually that pipe is now ready to go back to its its owner, it's going to go in the mail on Monday, so all turned out well. But uh, it, I, I guess I should look at it in in the sense that it's practice. You know, you you only get better at things by doing them repetitively. And uh, when you make a mistake like that, it sticks with you. You know, you you put a couple days effort into this, most of it with hand files and sandpaper, uh, and you mess it up like that, you're going to remember it the next time you make a a stem, and you're not going to make that mistake again. Although it's not the first time I've done this. But it is mercifully less frequent uh, the more the more stems that I make. So uh, it used to be it was it was probably well, I don't know, I don't want to even give a number to it, but it was f a frequent occurrence during the first let's say 10 stems that I made and after that it started to uh, tail off quite a bit and you know it's just that you get a better sense of how to align things and and you're you're doing it's basically a three-dimensional sculpture that you're making when you make a stem and inside that is this this big hole that you need to not sculpt into and you get a better sense of where that hole is sitting in that bulk of a material and you know keep in mind that the rod itself is is much much bigger than the the final stem uh, especially down at the button end so you're removing a lot of material and you're removing it from both sides and you have to do that symmetrically and I think you get the idea but it is something that the, the skill grows over time and, and you uh, you get better at it so that's that's good another uh, stem related incident this week that I wanted to share with you is you remember the Aldo Villani you probably don't remember it with this problem. Um, I was cleaning it and I snapped the tenon off. So yeah it happens. Um, especially this is an acrylic stem and acrylic is very very easy to fracture. And I was cleaning a couple of pipes and I just wasn't paying attention and I, I just snapped it. Fortunately I know a guy who can fix this. Unfortunately, he's very busy now and probably won't get to this for a couple of months. <laughs> so the Aldo Alani is out of uh, out of service for a bit. But I will eventually get it fixed up. It's a, it's a, it's a great pipe. Really, really glad that uh, I was able to do the work I did on this and uh, get it back to back to smoking. Uh, we'll fix that. It's funny. You you know you you always tell people oh, don't take the pipe apart when it's hot and always twist the stem as you're removing it and don't apply any lateral pressure and you know you've got all these and they're good rules you know do 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 all that stuff or don't do those things but whatever I just said um, and it kind of becomes second nature you know you, you don't think about it after a while and then something like that happens and, and now every time I'm going to take a pipe apart I'm going to be thinking about it for the next couple of weeks And then, of course, I'll forget again. And I, I'm just glad it's never happened with someone else's pipe. That would be quite embarrassing. You know, somebody says, "Take a look at my pipe." You take it apart and you snap the tenon off on them. Uh, so far, that has not happened to me. So, uh, in terms of shop updates. Still got a lot of pipes. I just started a set of five uh, today, uh, later than I wanted to start because of daylight savings time. Uh, but it, but the work is in progress, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like I said last week. I'm getting caught up, so that's good. Uh, finished up three pipes yesterday, and they're ready to go in the mail on Monday. And I'm um, I'm pretty happy with the place I'm in right now. I think that in the not too distant future. 
I'm going to begin to get to some of that shop work that I hoped I would be able to do over Christmas, but was never able to because I got too tied up with the uh, the furniture project that I was working on. So as I do that, I'm probably going to start making some bit, some shop videos uh, around that sort of stuff. So the first thing that I need to do is actually build a um, a wood rack, and I, I bought a wood rack. I'm not building it from scratch, but I need to install it on the wall, and I need to prep the wall for that. And there's a lot of stuff that I need to do down here, like waterproof the walls and things like that. And I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to make a make into a, a a video, but it'll be easy enough to just set the camera up and and talk a bit as I'm doing it, and I'll feel less alone doing it that way. So you may see some of that stuff coming down the pike. We shall see. Well, folks, I, uh, I don't have a lot more to talk about today, and uh, unfortunately I'm an hour behind, so I think I'm going to draw this one to a close a little, a little early. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend, and uh, are looking forward to the week ahead. And... Until we talk again, I will look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.